Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at two balls in one hand, different ways we can do that, and then what patterns we can learn with three afterwards. The first thing to practice is seeing if we can juggle two balls in one hand. And we're going to try this on both sides. What we're looking for to start with, the easiest way, the easiest pattern, is an outwards oval or a fountain. Okay, If we're doing it with one hand, we'd call it a half fountain. So you're going in a nice oval shape so the juggling balls are always pitching slightly outwards. This will be difficult if you've been practicing a lot of three ball cascade because you've got to hold on to the ball a little bit longer before we throw so it's getting that nice outwards trajectory. Common mistakes are the balls hitting into each other so if that's happening don't worry just persist with a bit of exercise. Once you've had a few goes with one hand pass them to the other side and do the same thing you'll probably find that your weaker side is lagging behind, okay? This is common, so don't worry if it's really difficult with your non-dominant hand. But it's the same pattern, an outward circle, and we're looking for a nice, consistent ellipse with those juggling balls. So, next up is having a go at columns with two in one hand. So instead of our oval shape, what we're looking for now is straight up and straight down. So your hand will move side to side and the juggling balls will just go straight up and straight down. Hence the name columns. So one on the inside, one on the outside, you're looking to keep that consistent. The tricky thing here is keeping your columns in the same point in space, but that will come with practice. Obviously we're going to practice this with one hand and we're going to practice it with the other hand as well. So we're looking for nice straight throws and the hand moving from side to side to make the catches. Remember, when you're juggling two in one hand, they want to be slightly higher than your normal three ball throw. Next challenge is to add the two in one hand into our three ball cascade. So if you get your three ball cascade going, and we're just going to do one singular throw that's going to go straight up and land back in the hand that threw it. So green ball comes around, straight up, smoothly back into our three ball cascade. Obviously try this with your dominant hand, but also have a go with your other side. So we're not trying to do this continuously, we're just throwing one singular throw in to get used to how that feels. Okay? Have a go with both sides, and remember all you're trying to do is get one ball up and straight back into the hand that threw it. So the next challenge is to see if we can get one on one side and one on the other, straight after one another. So from our three ball juggle, I'm going to see if I can get one on that side, green across, one on that side, then fall back into our three ball juggle. So we actually did two sides, a complete cycle of a new pattern there. So again, I'm going to start with the green straight up, orange across, pink straight up, and then back in. So if you notice, the green and the pink went straight up and straight down. And the orange ball is doing a nice figure of eight around those other two. And you can see now, once I carry it on, this is a repeating pattern. Having different colours will really help, because as you can see, I've got my green and my pink juggling ball going straight up and straight down. And I know that the orange one is always going to be the one that crosses over. Next stage is to do the same pattern that's going to have the same rhythm, feels very similar, but the balls are going to travel in a slightly different place. Instead of the orange ball doing a figure of eight, it's going to stay in between the green ball and the pink ball. So this trick is called columns. This is when we're doing three juggling balls and we're juggling in columns. So my green is going to stay on the outside, orange in the middle, and pink on the opposing side. So as you can see, just for a moment, you're juggling two in one hand and we're constantly swapping sides. My green stays on the right hand side and my pink on the left hand side. And I'm trying to keep them nice vertical throws. So we're swapping side. It will have the same rhythm as our previous pattern. To start with, you can just try and do one round and stop again. So you can set up, ready, you're going to go green on the outside, orange in the middle, pink on the left hand side. I'm just going to do it once around. So orange in the middle, 
and back again. So that was just one full round. So orange in the middle, back to where we started. If you can manage that, see if you can do two full rounds. So orange goes there and back, and there and back again. If you've got that far, chances are you're probably ready to try it from a cascade. So get your normal cascade going, and when you're ready, just throw one in the middle, and then we can go into our columns. So the next stage is to see if we can throw both outside balls together every single time. You can try this from the juggle or just from a cold start, it's up to you. If I throw the orange first, that's going to be the ball that's going to remain in the middle. So I'm going to keep that in the centre and I'm going to throw my outside balls together. So each time, the green and the pink are going up at the same time. It's a lot to think about to start with, lots can go wrong you might find it easier to enter from the cascade. Again, I'm going to use the orange ball in the middle, pink and green go together on the outside. What I'm trying to concentrate on here is making sure that the juggling balls are going nice and vertical. Move the hand to the centre ball. You can even add in both hands together so it's completely symmetrical. So, final variation of columns we're going to look at is a pattern called tennis. Very similar, same rhythm, but the ball that's going to be the tennis ball will be doing outside throws, so a reverse cascade throw, whilst the other two balls remain straight up and straight down. So the green ball goes over the top, the orange and the pink are in columns, so they are forming the net. As you can see, this is supposed to imitate the game of tennis, so our two columns are forming a net and our other juggling ball, in this case the green ball, is going over the top. So this is a combination of sunrise, sunset and columns. Remember to bear in mind that all of these patterns will take time to learn and these uh, progressions are something that won't all happen in one session, one week or maybe even one month. If you're practicing regularly, you'll find that you'll be able to slowly progress through these patterns and it will take a lot of time to solidify them, get them into your muscle memory and for them to become consistent. So these are just some options. If you're a novice or a new three ball juggler, just some directions that you can go and some things that you can practice.